why do you think it's difficult for people that have been inside of the sales world for a while to accept the fact that vulnerability is a positive mm. thing and how could they potentially start to get over that when they're interacting with customers? Mm. It's a great question. You know, when we started Somersault Innovation and we started working at Salesforce initially, I remember sort of one of our uh, coaches in the system was like, do not talk about vulnerability. Like that is not going to go down well <laughs> in the sales community. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I think it's gotten more traction lately because of Brene Brown and and others uh, talking more about it. But, um, well, I think, you know, I think salespeople are also unique in that um, we face a lot of adversity, right? The door's getting shut on your face constantly. So there's this interesting uh, dynamic in salespeople, like on the one hand, we have to be sort of really resilient and tough and like, well, I'm gonna you know, get up the next day and make another call and I've got the number on my head and everybody knows whether I'm making it or not making it. So I have to be pretty strong in that way. Um, but I'm also being incredibly vulnerable because I'm putting myself out there all the time. And so um, I think in some ways, it's hard to acknowledge that vulnerability sometimes and more easy. Like I just got to keep showing up and I got to keep my shell up and I'm going to be tough and I'm all about the numbers. And so um, I think there's a little bit of resistance in the sense of acknowledging the vulnerability that we actually all have in being a sales, well, being a human being, but in, right. sales, in sales, Um, you know, and I think it's, you know, in the past, certainly as we were less educated and self-aware and therapized, you know, vulnerability was not necessarily looked at as a good thing. Uh, it was certainly looked at more as a weakness. Uh, yeah. Whereas, you know, I think it's an, you know, we connect when we sense other people's vulnerability, right? We connect when we understand what is driving another person. That's, that is like, that's where, that's sales right there, right? And that's what you want. And the more vulnerable you make yourself, the more it allows another person to open up and connect with you and tell you things that, they don't tell other people. And that's right. what you become the trusted advisor. That, that, is, that is actually exactly what I was going to point to at the end, because, you know, when I first got into this world, the, the coming from an ICU nursing background and, you know, having a minor in clinical psych and trying to start a marketing firm. Yeah. Right, um, it was just hundreds and hundreds of hours of audiobooks and um, reading and, and all this other stuff. And one thing that I really found is that, Anytime it, it was, I believe it was a book on EQ versus IQ. Um, and it was like, anytime that you're trying to form a relationship with another person, mm -hmm. you have to be a mirror. Mm, yeah. You, know, you have to reflect the behaviors that you want that person to reflect back to you. It's kind of like the golden rule. Yeah. Right? And so if you expect the customer and you said it perfectly right there, you want the customer to tell you things that they have not told anybody else. Yeah. You have to showcase that. Yeah. You have to be willing to form a relationship with the customer that they've never had yeah. with anyone else. Yeah. And that's that's a very deep, that's an intimate thing. Yeah. And that's, that that's that's where that trust comes in. Yeah. And, and you start to become this person that is saying, "Hey, you know, I could sell you this. Like this is one yeah. of my favorite lines, right?" I could sell you this. However, I know that with this specific thing that you need, you can get it cheaper, like right here. And I'm yeah. going to point you in this direction. Get that done yeah. here because it'll allow me to do my job better up here. Yeah. And you can actually save money and then give me more money to do my job up here. <laughs> right. And so they but the way that that feels when you're having that conversation. So hopefully none of my clients listen to this. Right. Because then they're going to know my <laughs> tricks. But um they're not tricks that's the cool thing yeah. it's yeah. genuinely trying to yeah. make sure that they're getting the best bang for their buck and then when you form that long-term relationship and now they they trust that you have their best intention at heart yeah that's a completely different ball game yeah totally agree completely different ball game yeah i'm not sure i have much to